All right, today's video is all about Ben Tiller and the next GC contender coming from the UK. Here's a hilly stage in uh, Internazionale Coppia Bartoli with finishing up to San Marino. Now, he's got some really good results this year in both the time trial um, as well as some road racing results. He used to also be a uh, world champion and juniors at cyclocross. Um, so here's basically Mark Hershey, who's trying to put in a big attack early on. This is on the last climb, I'm pretty sure. Um, and Nibali's getting spat along with some other people. It's an early season race, so form is really hard to tell uh, in comparison to later on races. There's Cepeda closing a gap and Garen Thomas getting spat as well. Uh, he was mainly on a training camp for this race. But anyway, Ben Tua has got some really good results. He won the race that I'm talking about today, but in the time trials as well in Basque Country, finished top 10, um, 22nd overall, and the Giro d'Italia, fifth in the first TT and fifth in the second TT. So definitely really strong time trials. Um, road racing, I think, is uh, also something that will come. But anyway, you can see here's the selection uh, that's occurring, and Ben Tullet managed to make it. Here's the four guys out front, Kieran Uthabrooks, uh, Eddie Dunbar, Ben Tullet, as well as Mark Hershey, and then some others like Conji managed to get back on um, towards the end of this or towards the flatter part of this climb and um, yeah I think he's got a really bright future in reality and I think he's going to go really well so Simon Carr again attacks early on um, well late on sorry about three and a half k I think the commentator said to go and everyone sort of looks at each other and no one knows who to close it Eddie Dunbar knowing that he's in the leader's jersey knows that he has to close it you can see it's a pretty fast climb he's in the big ring halfway down the cassette so definitely a fast climb this and probably suits more of a, a strong rider um, than necessarily a pure climber. Ben Tart is a pretty small guy. That's why it's odd that he's a time trialist. He's like one meter 66, 56 kilos is what Pro Cycling Stats says. Um, so again, like not your traditional time trialist. And that's why I think it's quite exciting to see where he can go. Um, he's also finished ninth in Tour of Pallon before last year, as well as finishing 12th in Liege, uh, in 12th in Flesh, 17th in Amstel Gold, um, as well as getting in top five in uh, Tour of Antalya as well, which was his first ever UCRA. So yeah, super promising young rider um, for Ineos as well as Britain. Uh, and I think he's gonna go is gonna go pretty well. It'll be interesting to see how he climbs compared to the big boys. You can see here, because Dunbar's up the road, he's really leaning on Mark Hershey to close this gap up to Simon Carr and Eddie Dunbar. I've done a video on Simon Carr, um, and I did an interview with him actually, and he's going really, really well. Recently, um, had a breakout season last year, which was his first at World Tour, and this year, again, becoming very solid. Hershey's closing this gap. He's doing a big, big dig to get across, and Ben Turtle is a little bit tired on the wheel, but actually managed to get across, no stress. But I think the thing that is interesting with him is how strong he is on the time trial, despite him being so small. He's more like a Remco-type character who could time trial, but despite being tiny. Simon Yates puts in another dig here, then sits up. Ben Turtle's like... Oh, there's no one really going, has a look behind and just launches it. And everyone is just battered and no one really can respond. Simon Carr just went on the attack. Hirsch, you had to do a massive bridge. And Eddie Dunbar, well, he's obviously his teammate, so he's not going to go on this steeper ramp here. It's just game over. Ben Turlet starts to really attack. These handlebars do look absolutely massive for him as well. Dan Bingham definitely has to get him on some narrow handlebars. But yeah, once he's attacked here, it was basically game over. There was Everyone was just looking around. Um, and he took the big W and this really helped him uh, end up going to the Giro d'Italia instead of Eddie Dunbar. Um, he wasn't too impressive in the Giro, to be honest, in terms of like the road race stages. Like he didn't do a massive turn on any of them. Um, but I think the fact that even on the last day he could get a top five in the TT shows that he's still got pretty good endurance and wasn't absolutely battered. Um, and, you know, in the last stage, he still finished 30th. Like he still was sort of like there or thereabouts in most stages. Like he didn't have any... Disastrous ones, but it's more like the fact that he didn't necessarily pull as hard as people thought he might. I thought he was going to be sort of like one of the last men um, just before Richie Port to do a super, super strong turn. But actually, it was like Sivakov, and then he just sort of like helped out where he could. But obviously, for the first Grand Tour, it's not a bad um, bad way to top fives, to be honest. is very strong, obviously. Um, but yeah, you could have thought he could have done more on the mountain stages, but I'm sure he will in the upcoming Grand Tours. And this is just coming up to the last kilometre. And he knows he's got it in the bag. He's just... You know, we're not cruising up, you know what I mean? Just going full, but knows that he has it in the bag ahead of his teammate. And this actually makes him get second overall uh, in this race as well because he put a fair amount of time into the other guys. Uh, and basically after that, there wasn't too much difference in the GC after this. Um, he sort of put three seconds into them, but really lost no other time. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Um, keep your eyes out on Ben Tuller. I think he's going to have a really good career. Uh, can he win a Grand Tour? I think there's a good chance he can, um, but there's a lot of riders who can, so it'll be tough. But anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.